science for? Our lesson for today is all about materials that float and sink. Lesson Objectives Identify materials that float and sink. Describe the kind of materials that float and sink. Before we proceed to our new lesson, we will have a short review to our past lesson. Direction Identify the materials if it is porous or non porous materials. You will only have 5 seconds to answer the following question. The correct answer is porous materials. The correct answer is non-porous materials. The correct answer is porous materials. The correct answer is non-porous materials. The correct answer is porous materials. Now, let's go back to our main lesson, the materials that float and sink. Sink means to fall to the bottom of water. Float means to stay on top. Some things float on top of water. Some things stay submerged part way down. And some things sink. Some things sink very fast. And some things sink very slow. An object shape can affect its ability to float. But some materials float no matter what their shape. Such as styrofoam and balsa wood. Some things float at first, but then sink as they absorb water or take water on through holes. So, ano nga ba ang materials na lumulutang? Ito yung mga materials na gawa sa kahoy, katulad ng chairs, tables, at iba pa. Meron ding materials na lumulutang na gawa sa plastic. At ang materials naman na lumulubog or nagsisink, ito ang mga materials na gawa sa metal. Remember, materials that float are made of plastic and wood. And materials that sink are made of metals. Why do some people use floaters or salvavida in swimming pools? People use floaters or salvavida in swimming pool to keep them afloat in water. Explain why large boats or ships float on water. Large ships and boats float on water because the upward push of the water is greater than their weight. Direction Identify the materials if it is float or sink.
I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Thank you and goodbye.